Hey, this is Erica Awakening from TopSmarter.com. We're back for day three of the 30-day World Peace Challenge. Thanks a lot for being here. For now, we're going to continue clearing these preliminary blocks to this challenge actually working. You may be wondering why we're covering these issues and we haven't jumped straight into things like global warming and pollution and wars and famines and all that stuff. And the reason is that there is something called psychological reversal that has to be cleared first. And that is all the reasons that people wouldn't tap the videos, all the reasons why people won't let the videos work, etc., etc. If you don't clear all that stuff at the beginning, then you can tap, you know, wars and famines and so forth, and you'll probably get some results, but you won't get the big, you won't get the big results. My customers know I include this kind of clearing at the beginning of every of my 30-day challenges, which are available at topsmarter.com/store, and it definitely makes them a lot more powerful. So again, I ask you to trust the process. Ask questions on the forum, topsmarter.com/forum and really trust I've been doing this for years I know what I'm doing okay let's go on karate chop today's topic is apathy and learned helplessness even though I don't really believe that this 30 day world peace challenge is actually gonna work People are too apathetic. They're too cynical. They're not willing to try something new. To get a huge global impact, we need a lot of people tapping these videos. And I don't see how that's ever going to happen. People made secret vows with their ego. Never to do what would actually work. Seek but do not find. That is the ego's motto. I'm worried I'll be one of the very few people who will ever tap these videos. It's never going to work. I love and accept myself anyway. Okay, let's go on the top of your head. Even though I'm seeing a world of apathy, I'm seeing a world of learned helplessness. Everyone wanted to save the world at some point. But most of us have given up. We've tried so many different ways of making a difference. And nothing has ever really worked. I'm just one person among billions. Politics is so messed up. The world of business is so messed up. I feel like I'm at the mercy of governments and corporations. Maybe I feel really apathetic. Maybe I feel really hopeless. And even if I'm tapping these videos right now, I don't think enough other people will do the same. And what if it doesn't work? What if Erica Awakening is full of it? And we're not really tapping into the collective unconscious. 
What if this turns out to be? Like so many things I tried in the past that made such big promises and did not deliver any results. Sometimes it's hard even to keep going. I want to help other people, but I've given up. And then I just focus on my personal interests. I'll just make enough money for myself. I'll just create a decent life for myself. There's no point trying to help other people. They don't even want their problems solved. There's so many people with addictions, willful blindness, They're not even open to anything new. They do not perceive their own best interests. As long as I keep believing all of these things about the world, nothing is ever going to change. I wonder if I could be open to the possibility that these beliefs about the world are not really true. The world's just reflecting back to me my own apathy, my own cynicism, my own learned helplessness. It's hard to imagine I could change all that just by changing myself. I'm open to the possibility anyway. This part of me that's frustrated right now This part of me that's angry. This part of me that's creating distracting side effects, sound effects. Because I don't really want this problem solved. And the truth is, I'm deeply reversed about this. I don't want the illusion to go. I'm not ready for the end of separation consciousness. I choose to be powerful anyway. All right, take a deep breath. Whew. Ooh, interesting emotions were popping up there. I don't know if you were feeling it, but definitely um, some anger started to surface. My cat started making noise all around. and. It's tempting to think the anger's coming cause from that, but it's not. Um, the ego gets angry when we start to dismantle it, so then it tries to <coughs> create all this distraction. Sound effects are an integral part of my videos, as my customers know. So just, um, we'll always use them in, in service of the healing. All right, now we're going to Course in Miracles, and we're going to do a bit here. So start again on Karate Chop. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Every time you tell yourself with confidence, truth will correct all errors in my mind. You speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he would set you free.
go on the top of the head. <sighs> to give and to receive are one in truth. Vision depends upon, upon today's idea. The light is in it. For it reconciles all seeming opposites. And what is light except the resolution? Born of peace. Of all your conflicts and mistaken thoughts. Into one concept which is wholly true. Even that one will disappear because the thought behind it will appear instead to take its place. And now you are at peace forever, for the dream is over then. Let's go back on karate chop. True light that makes true vision possible is not the light the body's eyes behold. It is a state of mind that has become so unified that darkness cannot be perceived at all. And thus, what is the same is seen as one, while what is not the same remains unnoticed, for it is not there. Let's go on the top of your head. This is the light that shows no opposites, and vision being healed has power to heal. This is the light that brings your peace of mind to other minds. To share it and be glad that they are one with you and with themselves. This is the light that heals because it brings single perception based upon one frame of reference from which one meaning comes. One thought completely unified will serve to unify all thought. To give and to receive are one in truth. I will receive what I am giving now. To everyone I offer quietness. To everyone I offer peace of mind. To everyone I offer gentleness. Say each one slowly and then pause a while, expecting to receive the gift you gave. And it will come to you in the amount in which you gave it. You will find you have exact return, for that is what you asked. It might be helpful, too, to think of one to whom you give your gifts. He represents the others.
and through him you give to all. Our very simple lesson for today will teach you much. Effect and cause will be far better understood from this time on. And we will make much faster progress now. To give and to receive are one in truth. I am at home. Fear is the stranger here. It can be only my gratitude I earn. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. I will not be afraid of love today. My true identity abides in you. I can elect to change all thoughts that hurt. I am as God created me. I am the Holy Son of God Himself. Give me your blessing, Holy Son of God. Alright, we're going to take a deep breath here. Whew. See how that feels for you. Um, it's just too far outside the scope of these videos to explain it all here, but we do mention God a lot in my videos, and if you have resistance to that, I would encourage you to explore it, because God is a word recognized by the subconscious mind that has infinite power. So if you avoid the word, you're actually avoiding your own power. It's too much to explain here. Um, that's what my coaching programs are for. I'm just asking you for now to be willing to explore your resistance instead of giving into it if resistance is coming up. As always, you can ask questions on the forum, tapsmarner.com forum. This is Erica Awakening. See you tomorrow for day four. Take care.